being connected, the connectivity of people, even though we may be far, far away. I've had the privilege of meeting so many people virtually simply because of an app called Beam. And that app has basically connected me up to people that I have probably a deeper connection to than people that I know in real life. But being that there's so much distance in between me and some of my friends, you know, it makes me wonder what it would be like to put on their shoes and step where they are. It's almost mystical. But being connected with somebody in real life definitely has an additional added benefit because you know their idiosyncrasies. There's somewhat of an allure of finding these people or being connected with other people that may have even come across their paths that just is awe-inspiring to me. But having said that, there's this little bit of curiosity that wants to know what is it like to really touch these people? Like you seeing me on the other side of this screen. Building close relationships with people, you just want to reach out and just hug them. So one of my close friends, uh, he runs a YouTube channel called Two Days Off weekly vlog and he just got done with Operation New Smile. He's up here in a little city called Halifax where I'm down here in the United States in the south. But ironically where he got all his dental work done and my dentist they're both from the same place. Matter of fact my dentist worked where he got his teeth done at the same time he was getting his teeth done. What a small world. There was just something that made me want to reach out and grab my dentist's hands and shake his hands knowing the fact that one of my close friends who I've never met and my dentist have probably crossed paths without maybe necessarily even meeting each other. There's some kind of energy there, some kind of connection that I just want to suck out of him and say, what was it like to walk where he walked? What kind of thoughts were going through your head that may have been the same? It's kind of freaky in that kind of sense. And what is it like for you guys to see me come into my office? A place that you'll probably never experience. Personally for yourselves. Or sit in that seat. But that's why I share and I share honestly and I want to show the little imperfections of my little world because I know that for every action there is a positive and opposite reaction on those things that we do to the world in and around us. There is good energy out there. I like my pictures in New York City, by the way. Straight kitty. Looking for food? My view out of my little windows of my office. Oop, I think he got something. It also partly explains my love of antiques. Now, what was going through the person's mind as they were making their coffee? Was it just like mine? I want to be in touch with the history of people. I want to be in touch with the thoughts that are going through their mind and the energy that connects us all. And that's really the motivation for my pictures that I put up in my office. Not only do I love New York City, but I also love the inspiration that comes from these photos. The bridges that connect us all, even though this is one big giant world. We're still a lot smaller than what you might think. So not only do I take that into consideration, everything that I do in my life, I always try to keep in mind the fact that I'm touching something that may send positive energy to somebody else. But above all else, simply be yourself. You never know what kind of energy is going to be spread out to those in the world and around you. You'll never know how you may be connected to somebody who just walked past tomorrow. Keep that in mind. I hope you guys have a great remainder of your day and uh, go find something else to do.